everybody. It's my honor to present again for another topic. Uh, you can see the topic has respects in aesthetic and non-aesthetic research in northern Taiwan. Uh, we do another measurement among these students and uh, have another result. Uh, my name is Xie Xi Fu. I come from National Taiwan Normal University in the CC Hospital. Introduction. Uh, Hedus Vargas is a medical term. Uh, Hedus means feet tall and the Vargas means very literary. So if our feet tall very literary, we will have a Hedus Vargas. Uh, because our center is is here and the, our lateral side is here and the, the fetal very unnatural is uh, head as well uh, okay it may lead to poor pain deformity and the functional limitation if we have severe or nerve head of uh, according to the Gero uh, creating the to four, four different grades, normal, mild, moderate, and severe. And the uh, uh, normal is less than 15 degrees. Okay. Uh, severe, more than 30 degrees is se a severe uh, degree of hairless velcus. Hairless velcus incidence is there is very few study to uh, to study the incidence of health workers, it may be because much of the information comes from the hospital. Many doctors observe the patient and uh, to recall their results. Okay, uh, and many different research have different criteria to to uh, do their health workers condition and the. Uh, some people have pain, some people didn't have pain. It's also different among these research. Uh, according to the 2000 year American National Health interview, he uh, to ask for questionnaire among many United States people, and uh, uh, many people said that they had had those workers, about 1%. But the problem is that many people don't know if they really have Hedos Vergas or not. Okay. Now, I do the uh, uh, indicate that uh, the Hedos Vergas can have strong association to our age, our sex, and the osteoarthritis. Uh, as to the age, uh, called uh, in 1980, uh, this study revealed that uh, only 3% percent person aged 15 to 30 had had a breakfast, and 9% uh, aged between 31 to 60 had had a breakfast, but it increased um, to 16% in uh, elderly people elder than 60 years. Uh, female have more incidence rate of headless workers. Uh, why female have increased incidence? Uh, it may not, uh, it's not a, a very sure point because not a researcher can tell us the, the answer, but many people I think that female like to wear high heels and the uh, fashion style uh, footwear that may that may be the problem. Okay, a uh, uh, relative new research uh, conducted by Glenn no revealed that if the school age children wearing two short sho shoes in men's they have tendency to have headless velvet. So, uh, it tells good well is a big problem. The etiology of 
Hegel's versus ideal, which is the concept, uh, it comes with many different kind of causes to lead to Hegel's versus biomechanical uh, instability and the uh, arthritis condition and the metabolic or connective tissue disease. Many diseases and arthritis can make our tissue and the our ligament muscle more loose. So we tend to get deformity thereafter. And uh, if we, we have not very um, stable biomechanical structure, we will be to the abnormal force to conduct it to the big pop and the, uh, eventually come through hydrospheres. Physiology also has neuromuscular disease, traumatic, uh, uh, or structural deformity. Uh, there are also research uh, uh, think that genetic factors also can lead to hydrospheres. And uh, reinforcement factor about uh, including age and the food will well, well, uh, but lack of investigation of physical activity. So my end is to investigate if uh, different school age adolescent and the young adults uh, with different physical activity level will have different condition of health workers. Our method uh, conduct this journey to this October a place in, in one junior high school, one senior high school, and the two colleges in the Taiwan. Our subject a uh, 286 healthy school age and the and the young adults, age between 13 to 22 years. Uh, if they have previous injury or pain, we will exclude it. Uh, the method uh, we use the uh, surface anatomy to then mark the point and uh, directly measure the three point by a goniometer to obtain uh, an uh, angle. So uh, this is a person to three in the weekend have their three angle and the right feet angle, head is angle. Or the statistic uh, use SARS software to use multivariate regression analysis model. We also can control many factors, including clinical activity, score level, age, body weight, body height, and the right and the left foot different. The statistic level alpha is 0.05. Our result is that uh, these uh, students are make, majoring in different kinds of physical activities, and uh, we set the headless angle over 20 degrees is the headless velcro subject. So uh, we calculate the aesthetic class students have more uh, prevalence of Headless workers than the non aesthetic class students. And we also have a feature to reveal that uh, the red line is non aesthetic class students, and the black line is aesthetic class students. You can see that uh, as we, the age increase, there's no, di no difference in the Headless angle, but in uh, aesthetic health students, it seems to increase in senior high school and the college age. The mean headless angle also increased from uh, about 12 to 13 to increase to 15, 15 in senior high school and the college age. The statistic uh, significant in real P uh, less than 0.05.